Yes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar with one of our most sustainable brands we have here at Falcon Ross. Uh, welcome, Laura from the Mantis World. I'm very happy that uh, all of you are here and thank you for your time and your participation. My name is Leonard. I'm the head of marketing for Falcon Ross. And um, let's right jump into the cool stuff. Laura, are you ready? I am ready, yes. Hi, everyone. Are we good to go? We're good to go. Fantastic. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Laura. I am the UK brand ambassador for Mantis World. Um, and so I'm just going to talk about our brand a little bit. I'm also going to talk about uh, what we mean when we say organic for all and uh, just some of the sort of key points about sustainability and some of the certifications and what they might actually mean and what they mean for you as well. Um, so. Uh, in terms of who we are, uh, we've been around since 2000 and we have been pioneers of organic clothing. We make clothes for adults, kids and babies. And basically we've been using organic cotton since 2005. Uh, my colleague Marion, who I'm sure many of you know, always says that we, uh, we were using organic cotton way before it was cool. <laughs> And we've also always worked very closely with our customers and printers and decorators across Europe to make sure that the garments that we are manufacturing are fit for purpose, that they are designed to be decorated. We know that printers want something that's going to print well, customers want something that's going to wash well. So that's all part and parcel of what we mean when we say that things are well made. Um, for the last few years, our tagline has been organic clothing for all. What we mean by that is, of course, you know, yeah, we're making clothes for everyone. Um, but also the other side of that is that organic clothing shouldn't be something that is only available to certain people and certain price points. And actually, you know, it should be something that's a lot more accessible in the wider market. And thankfully, you know, the market is definitely moving in that direction. Uh, and in the last few years, it's kind of been a bit of a juggernaut, actually, how quickly it's moved in that direction. So for us as people that have been doing this for a long time, it's a really, really wonderful thing to see. Uh, so I'll just quickly talk about our brands. I'm sure you've heard of our brands before. Um, we have three main brands. We have Mantis, which is our kind of entry level uh, essentials organic range. Um, so that's where you're going to find a lot of our unisex styles, a lot of our sort of basic styles. Um, we have our superstar collection, which has been around for a very, very long time. And that is our premium, uh, I would call it retail ready range. So you've got a lot more sort of stylistic things in there. You've got some really lovely finishes in there as well. Um, and then also you have baby bugs, which is I would probably say the thing we're probably best known for. We've been making baby wear for a really long time. I think that, you know, a lot of people are a lot more anxious around baby wear. Of course, like we're a lot more liable <laughs> if, there's a, if there's an issue, but also organic has always sold a lot better in baby wear as well. I think new parents have always asked a lot more questions about provenance of garments and they've always been a lot more cautious about where stuff has been made and how it's been made and what it's been made of. So uh, in that respect, baby wear has always been a very natural fit for us. Um, one of the issues that we have with baby wear is that a lot of customers are always a bit sort of nervous about where it could possibly end up. We get asked a lot, you know, where does, you know, a BZ10 or a BZ2, which are our two best selling styles, where ultimately do they end up when they leave us? And the answer to that question is that it ends up everywhere. Um, the gifting and retail markets does make up a lot of that. People putting together gift sets and creating, you know, personalised uh, personalized gifts for newborn babies, but then also that spreads out across souvenirs. Music merchandise is a big one as well. We've discovered in recent years that a lot of the bands that kind of have iconic branding, you might say, um, I won't name any names, but the sort of people who go and see these bands now, um, a lot of them have grandkids and, uh, and also have disposable income. So they're very happy to spend a bit more money uh, on you know a cute baby grow with an iconic brand on it. Um, the same can also be said for colleges and unis and for corporate merchandise as well that there is always kind of there's always a market for this stuff and then occasions as well. I think that social media has really changed the way that people um, uh, 
their ranges and the way that they are introducing. Uh, sorry, I think that this might have cut out. One second. Is that is everything still going? Ooh. Okay, I think that's working again. Sorry, everyone. Uh, social media has really changed the way that a lot of people are consuming baby wear. People are sharing stuff online, and you know, I think there's a lot more around things like birth announcements, gender reveals, kind of all of these sort of milestones now in the in the process that didn't exist ten years ago. So, um, I think that baby wear is a really good option for that as well. Uh, Personalisation obviously can play a part in all of this. Uh, things like you know heat presses and DCG machines are more accessible and more affordable than they ever have been, really. Um, and of course, from a decorator point of view, um, this is all extra margin that you can add on on top without you know too much uh, too much worry or too much additional expense on your end. So what makes a mantis or a baby bug's garment so special uh, and what are our USPs? So uh, as I said, we've been using organic cotton since 2005. We actually haven't used any conventional cotton since 2019. And um, we've also been using in-conversion cotton, which is basically cotton that's on its way to being uh, to being certified organic. Uh, it's still covered with the same certifications as our organic cotton. Um, and uh, we also have use tearaway labels as uh, standard across all of our garments. As I mentioned, we work very closely with printers to make sure that everything we design has been designed to be decorated. Um, our fabrics are certified as being kind to skin as well as to the planet, which, you know, especially in baby wear is a really important thing because, you know, you're dealing with sensitive skin and, uh, you know, you don't want to end up with horrible rashes and that kind of thing. But also, you know, why, why not in adult wear as well? Um, we believe in making stuff uh, high quality and that it's going to last because, you know, there's no point us making all of this lovely stuff and then uh, it falling apart after a couple of washes. <laughs> um, and also uh, all of our garments have QR codes in the labels uh, that basically show the full supply chain and also the key impact data. So a little bit more on this. We launched our um, impact calculator in 2020, um, first on our MO1 t-shirt, but now it's across all of our range. Um, and basically, if you scan the QR code on our label, it takes the wearer through to a white label site that shows these very powerful metrics. It's transparent, it's data, it's not emotionally driven, it's just data and it basically shows the comparison of choosing organic over conventional uh, with regards to that specific garment so it gives you the water savings the energy savings the co2 savings and also the pesticide savings so if you are particularly interested in you know the amount of I mean water is a big one right so a lot of people talk about the amount of water that goes into cotton growing and so if you take one of our garments and compare it to another one and you have a customer in particular that's very interested in that then it's a really good selling point to be like this is the difference and this is it's something that gets people on board with using organic without kind of you know relying too much on more sort of shock tactics um it also shows the supply chain. So I think in the last few years, especially, there's been a lot more talk about, you know, where garments are being made. I think people are asking a lot more questions about provenance of, of garments. I think also it's good for the wearer to understand how a garment is made and the individual steps. So, you know, we have garments that are made in different parts of the world. So each QR code kind of tells the story of each garment in its own unique way. Um, so as you can see here, this is for our MI1 essential tea, it shows where the raw material has come from and then it takes you all the way through the uh, manufacturing process and then all the way up to our two warehouses, uh, either in the UK or in Germany. So as I said, this is a white label site that it takes the wearer through to, so this is actually something that could be used all along the chain once it leaves us. Uh, this is something that doesn't have Mantis's name on it, this is just information that we're putting out into the world. So from your point of view, this is something that you could use in your own messaging as well. Um, this is also a level of future proofing our garments. This is going to become uh, very common in the next few years and I think it will become legally um, 
uh, a necessity for garments to have digital passports in this way. So our garments have been future proof for any future legislation, which is uh, definitely uh, a good place for us to be in um, because the work is all done. This information exists. The QR codes are there. So it's um, again, it's just a little extra bit of peace of mind for us and for our customers as well. Uh, so one of the unique things about Mantis is that we uh, have manufacturing in sub-Saharan Africa. We're actually the only brand in our industry to do so. Um, the roots of Mantis as a company are very much in Tanzania um, and our factory there, Sunflag, uh, it was actually built by our founder's grandfather, um, I think in the 1960s. So uh, the story kind of goes that she grew up seeing this fully vertical factory that was being run in, you know, a really humane way um, where people are, you know, getting paid fairly and they have this great quality of life and they're being appreciated by their employer. And so if this is possible in this factory here, then why hasn't this been the model across other garment factories across the world? So that's kind of the basis on which Mantis was founded. We've seen a huge demand in uh, African cotton and manufacturing in the last few years. I think as other parts of the world, people are starting to turn away from other countries in terms of the cotton that's coming out of there, in terms of the manufacturing that's coming out of there, and people are looking for something different and maybe something a bit more transparent. And that's it's led a lot of people to us and a lot of people asking more questions about African production, which is fantastic. Um, we source all of our uh, organic cotton from a local farm group that's based just up the road from uh, our factory. And uh, so it means also the carbon footprint on these garments is really, really low because we're not transporting raw material across borders in order to make garments, which is, again, it's a really great USP for us. Um, and, you know, the quality of the cotton is, it's different. It's definitely, you can definitely tell the difference when you feel the African cotton versus, for example, the Indian cotton, and especially for baby wear, it just makes such a lovely feel. And it's, yeah, it's a really nice USP for us. Um, so I'll just talk a little bit about our journey as a company. Um, as you can see, there's quite a lot of milestones that we've hit over the last uh, 23 years. We were founded in 2000. And yeah, as I said, we introduced organic cotton in 2005. We received our GOT certification uh, for the first time in 2008. Um, and sort of ever since, it's just been kind of all these milestones a few awards scattered along the way, the Ethical Fashion Forum, uh, the Ryan Young Climate Plus Award from the Textile Exchange, uh, a lot of honours along the way, um, but also introduction of recycled polyester, of uh, in conversion cotton in 2022, um, and uh, this year, which is probably one of the, the bigger milestones that we've reached, well, this year, 2023, we uh, received our B Corp certification as well, uh, being uh, the first brand in our industry to do so, which has been a lot of work and we're very, very proud of that achievement. One of the things that we are very keen to talk about over the next few years, and we have been kind of talking about banging the drum for a few years about, is about overproduction and obsolescence of stock. Um, we all know that this industry uh, is not great when it comes to overproducing on things that people don't necessarily need. Um, the estimation just in the printwear industry is that we are discontinuing uh, 10 million garments a year, um, which you know most of which is going to end up in landfill, unfortunately. Um, we have always tried to be responsible with regards to what we bring in and also with regards to what we discontinue. Um, so we've extended the shelf life of our, our garments. We won't bring anything in if we we're going to immediately discontinue it. And we don't believe in holding enormous colour ranges as well in garments because the reality is, is that the vast majority of people are only going to want to buy sort of five to six different colours. Um, so as much as it's really nice to be able to say that we you know, have one t-shirt and we're selling it in 80 different colours, that's just not a sustainable business model, uh, especially if you're introducing and discontinuing colours at a really rapid rate, which unfortunately this industry is, um, is pretty notorious for. Um, the relentless pursuit of newness and sort of new collections and these constant sort of waves of new products, it, it feeds into a fast fashion model that we are trying to break away from. Um, and it's just, it's an unnecessary consumption of resources, ultimately, um, that the industry needs to sort of face up to and talk about. And it comes from all sides. It comes from the brands, it comes from 
the, the wholesalers, from the distributors, and also from customers and their expectations of brands. Um, but, you know, I think that this is something that people are talking about now and, and we are moving towards a more transparent and uh, open way of discussing these issues, which is, which is great. So we have always uh, championed preferred fibres. So this stuff like, well, mostly organic cotton, but also in conversion cotton and to a lesser extent recycled polyester. Um, but organic for us really is is the cornerstone of, of, of everything that we of everything that we do here at Mantis. Um, so here's a few sort of key points about why we love organic. Uh, organic agriculture encourages biodiversity. Uh, we know that it's uh, really great for locking carbon into the soil as well, so it can actually it can actually basically pull carbon out of the atmosphere, which is fantastic for you know lessening some of the worst impacts of uh, of climate change in some areas of the world. It uses less water, uh, at least our organic cotton does, because it's rain fed. Um, we're not using any harmful chemicals, so it's not getting into it's not getting into the ecosystem. It's not getting into you know the local rivers, into the soil. It's not harming animals uh, or marine life. Um, we know that it's better for the workers, and we know that the soil is actually more resilient to extreme weather patterns. So especially as climate change does continue to impact the uh, especially some of the poorer parts of the world where farming is. The main industry um we know that if the soil is more resilient to these weather patterns like floods and droughts and actually this is this is better for the farmers of course so we as i mentioned we've recently become a certified b corp um this is basically a, a certification that means that we have joined a uh a a group of like-minded companies. This is something that crosses different industries across the world um, and uh, it basically is an encapsulation of everything that we've worked towards for over 20 years. Um, it means that we have been identified as a business that is putting uh, people and planet over profit, which is great. <laughs> so as I said, yeah, this is what a B Corp is. Uh, the B stands for benefit for all. Um, it is a company-wide process. I will say that it's, you know, as far as certifications go, the process of applying for this has taken a very, very long time and it's taken a lot of work. But also we have to go through recertification every three years. So once the job is done, it's not done. <laughs> it's an ongoing process. And we have to publish annual impact reports. We have to just be constantly reporting back to them about the improvements that we're making. It's not a kind of, oh, it's done, tick, onto the next certification. It is an ongoing process. We've also had to change the legal framework of the business. So we're now legally bound to our commitments to continuous improvement. Um, and it means that we've joined a really great group of other businesses, as I said, across different industries. So other certified companies, companies like Innocent Smoothie, Lush, Patagonia, The Body Shop, like these, these businesses that have a known outside of the industry. Like they are big companies with a lot of, uh, you know, big marketing budgets where they can talk about this. So to be sort of involved in that group of people is a really, really amazing thing. What does this mean for you and for your customers potentially? Um, well, it's an international, internationally recognised certification, um, which is, you know, especially considering how sort of niche some of the other ones can be. It's a very special uh, thing for us to have. Uh, B Corps like buying from B Corps, so if you do have any customers that are B Corp certified, then uh, they prefer to do business sort of within the uh, within the community. Um, it's an independent indicator of trust and reliability, um, which means that, you know, again, it's that peace of mind. You know, there's a lot of claims out there these days. People are saying a lot of things. Uh, so it's good to have something that kind of cuts through that. Um, and it, it, it gives us access to um, new customers who maybe hadn't thought about using garments before as part of their, you know, their marketing part of their output um, and so to be able to approach those people and say this is a B corporation it gives a bit more accessibility into words that maybe weren't there before and you know new routes to market that maybe weren't there before 
Um, so I'll just quickly run through the rest of our certifications. As I mentioned, we have uh, GOTS, which is a sort of top to bottom certification for our organic cotton. It also looks into the uh, into the environmental, well, it's the environmental and the ethical side of the farming. So that's you know, fantastic, but also it covers our factories. Um, we have OCS, which covers our organic cotton um, and also our blended. RCS, which covers our recycled polyester. We don't tend to use a lot of recycled polyester, but when we do, we make sure it's RCS certified. Our garments have class one uh, classification Urquitex, which, you know, because especially with selling baby wear, it has to have. Um, we don't use a lot of viscose either, but when we do, it is canopy certified, so it's not coming from endangered forests, it's coming from managed woodlands. And then, as I mentioned, we are certified B Corp. And then in terms of mem memberships and initiatives, we um, have had our science-based target um, accepted. So we are committed to reducing our scope one and two emissions by 50% by 2030. Um, and then, yeah, there's a few other uh, a few other memberships that we're a part of. We are PETA certified as well, so there's no animal products in any of our garments. It um, means so we're vegan friendly, um, and we've been a member of the Textile Exchange for 15 years, and we've also uh, pledged to never destroy any of our unwanted stock, which is, again, kind of feeding into this overproduction uh, issue uh, that, you know, if we can avoid as much going to landfill and you know being incinerated as possible then that makes a really big difference and just a few key points about us as a brand uh, so as i mentioned we've been organic pioneers since 2005 we've future proofed all of our garments for legislative changes in the future We've backed, our, we've backed ourselves with tech and with as much information as we possibly can for full transparency. We have zero air freight um, and we are really, we see ourselves as being educators and activists as well as, you know, people that sell t-shirts. You know, there's a big, there's a lot of conversation to be had about the direction that the industry is going in and what we can do as brands and as customers and as consumers to make as little impact as possible whilst also still running businesses and you know uh, paying our bills at the end of each month um so i think that for us as a brand like we've really tried to ever since our inception in 2000 we've always tried to walk that line very carefully and there's never been a more important time to have brands like us around uh to you know we do see ourselves as, as a brand that's always led the way on this, um, whilst also creating timeless high quality styles that last really well. Um, we're also a female owned independent business, which again is a, such an important thing to have a little diversity in the space. Um, and again, is something that's always informed us as a brand and, uh, and the decisions that we make. And that is everything. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Laura. Thank you for your time. Thank you for giving us these interesting insights into the mindset of your company and uh, all of the efforts you put into your garments, into your products to be a really sustainable company. And congratulations for being certified B Corp. Thank you. Yes, it's been uh, it's been a journey. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. So then this is the end for today. Thank you very much for your time and participation. And if there are still some questions, then uh, please don't hesitate. Contact us at Falcon Ross at any time. We are happy to answer all of your questions and help you to find the right product for you. Take care, have a good day and see you soon. Bye bye. Bye.